Well, let's take a quick look at the teams. Black Rock College back to back, looking for back to back wins and Senior Cup number 68 this season. They field an unchanged back line. Hugo Keenan and Jack Power scored tries against St. Michael's. Ian Kinsley, Zach O'Hagan, and Joey Carberry pose a real threat as well. Tristan Brady and Sean Kearns direct operations behind the scrum. Nick Timoney captains Black Rock at number eight, and his ball carrying will need to be watched carefully by Newbridge. The one change in the Black Rock pack is the return of Jack Dwan to partner Dave O'Connor in the second row. The Newbridge pack is unchanged from the quarterfinal. Jonathan Phelan scored the crucial try that day. Back row Matt O'Connor scored the other. Two Connor Doyles in the pack just to add to the commentary challenges. Newbridge are captained by their number eight, Tom Brady. Mark Sutton is at scrum half. He played a 10 last season. That's a typical French top 14 type of switch. He is partnered by Jimmy O'Brien. The only change for Newbridge is the return of Jack O'Neill at inside centre. He and Jake Howlett were last year's centre pairing as well. On the bench, Newbridge uh, have Andrew Shanahan. He started in the quarterfinal. Tom Dunn and Richard Drumgoul Maguire also came on as replacements. For Blackrock, only Owen Fanning was used. Johnson to throw to the line out. Oh, ball almost taken, but Newbridge have it again. They're all moving. Blackrock just a bit tentative. Get the bodies in now. And here go Newbridge now. They're doing very well. A little break away from the base. Good defense. Great tackle by Connor Oliver. Blackrock keeping it tight. Have another little surge, but they're short of that five meter line, about eight meters out. Well, they've pulled the penalty here. Black Rock have straight offside. The ball doesn't come out. Barry O'Keefe blows the whistle. Darcy sends it on its way. Got under it slightly. Is it curling back in? It is indeed. Great effort from Darcy. And Newbridge have the early lead in Donnybrook. Timoney's in midfield once again. And he skipped once again. Lovely hands. Three against one here. That's got to be the first try of the game. Brilliant finish by Zach O'Hagan. He plenty of men outside. He backed himself, and it was the right decision. Here we see it again. And ball come. Look at that for hands. Ball player coming around outside. And he could have given that. It was a 3v1. Fantastic work. Quick ball this time, breakaway, good stuff from Dane Fitzpatrick. The ball is there, beautifully presented. And again, it's moved wide, Carberry up from fullback. No option, got the ball wide. Is there going to be a second try for Blackrock? What a finish from Jack Power. Just ghosted around the outside, and Blackrock really beginning to cut some holes in the Newbridge defence. Really impressed with the hands here again, look at this. Ball behind, nicely floated, and this is perfect pass. Pushing the man, and when the ball pushes you like that, you have to run that line of running. And he did fantastically to finish it well. Fantastic try by Jack Power. Four metres in from the touchline, sends it on its way. That looks like a better effort. That's a super effort. Two more points for Blackrock. And the margin is suddenly up to nine. Rock. Referee says hold the push. That's the law in the schools rugby. A little bit of space opens up for Darcy. Offload. Was it forward? Referee decides it's flat. Black Rock are in all over the ball. Clearance comes. Good work. A little distraction. The referee call there. He said advantage. None accruing. It's a penalty for Newbridge. There's plenty more than that. That's a great kick from Darcy. Absolutely nailed it. Ball away to Kearns. Long pass into Carberry in midfield. Hugo Keenan out wide. Looking threatening. Keenan races away. Gets the ball back in field to Carberry. Can Carberry win the race? He gets the ball into the hands of Jack Power. And Power is over for his second try of the game. And that's where Black Rock are just able to cut Newbridge open from time to time. Three tries in the opening half an hour. 
What a fantastic try, down to the hands of these players. Beautiful hands, first by Keenan, then by Carberry. Wait till you see this, these balls hooked back inside. Look at this, gliding through, and look at this pass. That's, not a diff that's a very difficult pass to make, and that one. Really nice passes by both players. Very difficult to move, on the move, on the hoof, full speed. To pull the ball back like that, very difficult. strike from Kearns the Blackrock outside half adds the two points they get them all set up quickly a little break away to the side good work from you but six meters out now the ball is there taken quickly by Sutton handling error to the go forward got away with that they can move it they're lining up wide can they get it through the hands they can indeed it's going to be a try for Newbridge finished by the fullback Niall Delahunt Forwards do really well, nice peel here. Sutton takes a little step in, takes the defender in. Lucky that didn't go forward, that was the key moment. And then the space opened up, nice pass, pushing them outside, like we saw in the first half. And really nicely finished, exactly what the game needs. Hold the push, stay on nine, backwards play on. No pressure there, good work. Attacking without the ball. Oh, referee deciding it was a tackle without the ball. Penalty. I take the three points here. Oh, Darcy makes that look pretty simple. And they're now within a converted try. Brady gets it away. Kearns moves it on. Opportunity for an overlap here, Carberry gets the pass away, Chimney is out there for the try, the captain scores, and just as Newbridge thought they had a lifeline, it's been snatched away again. Just running out of numbers here, Keenan created all the damage on Timoney, he certainly has the wheels to finish that one. Lining up wide here, a little bit of a break, is it going to be the fifth try? This is going to finish off the game, surely, Blackrock get in, Newbridge caught napping. Zach O'Hagan with the finish. Second try for him. Yeah, good strike, the touch judges' flags go up, the Blackrock supporters stand up and applaud. And that try and conversion has probably sealed a place in the final for Black Rock. Uh, not doing anything. First half the try, leaving uh, Timoney out in the back line a little bit, but it's an orthodox scrum here. Goes to Timoney at the base, he races away, needs support. Now it's there. Tuck him away. Kinsley was the Keep one going, coming. Newbridge players all over the ball here. Have they turned it over? They got their hands on it, but they're offside. Sends that one on its way, got well underneath it, but the flags go up, it doesn't matter. Barry O'Keefe blows the final whistle, Black Rock have prevailed. Yeah, Black Rock leading in 19-6 at half-time. Looked like it might have been all over at that stage. Newbridge battled back hard, a try from Niall Delahunt. A penalty from Darcy, got them within five points, but then Black Rock just ramped it up again. The final score at Donnybrook, Black Rock 34, Newbridge 14. Well, let's go down. Peter Smith, the Black Rock coach, is waiting for a quick interview. Joining me now is winning Black Rock coach Peter Smith. Peter, congratulations on the victory. Were you happy with your size performance? Yeah, I think there was two very good teams there and played the uh, game in the right spirit. Had some cracking tries on both sides. Now, obviously, you had a good lead going into the halftime, 19-6. Newbridge really camped on your line early in the second half. Were you happy with how your side defended? Well, I thought they were sensational for the first 15, 18 minutes of the second half, and their try was just rewarding to get the game Back to a five-point game for them was an absolutely outstanding effort, but a fair play to our boys. You know, we managed to step it up another gear and get a few tries at the end of the match. And obviously on Tuesday, a big game, the other semi-final between Clongos and Andrews. Will you be coming down to have a look at the opposition yourself? Uh, of course, we'll be coming down to have a look. But uh, again, two very good teams. I've seen them both play this year, so I'm sure that'll be another great game. Now we're joined also by winning captain Nick Timney. Nick, congratulations. And fantastic performance from yourself. How did you feel that your side played? Uh, thanks very much. Um, 
I thought we did well with the pressure then and Newbridge, but honest, they ran everything on there. They were unbelievable at it. So I think we did well to only keep them to one try. And uh, we were happy to get out of it alive. They're a super team. So.